it, guys. So today I'm going to go over 10 of the best boxing drills that you should be doing on a heavy bag. So it's going to get you to move around your opponent, throw from all types of angles. But not only that, keep your hands up and be fluent on the way you punch. So guys, we're going to jump right into this video. Welcome to the RB Effect. Like that? Yeah? Good! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Reggie B. So guys, I put 10 boxing drills together that I do often to keep me nice and loose as I'm boxing, so by the time I get into the ring and fight an opponent, I'm real comfortable. That's how you get comfortable when you're going against somebody, by hitting the heavy bag, visualizing that actual person, and throwing combos and having drills that keep you real loose, able to throw combos, so by the time you do actually fight a person, you're not throwing just the same old combos of jab, jab, cross, hook, hook. That's not going to get you to where you want to be if you're trying to improve. If you just want to stay a beginner, hey, go for it. But if you're trying to improve, you have to have certain drills that you do that's going to keep your footwork on point, that's going to keep you able to block, that's going to throw combos, and that's exactly what I did today. So I picked out 10. So guys, let's get right into this video. You guys ready? Let's get it. Drill number one, body shots. You throw any shot you want from jabs to crosses to hooks, but just stay fluent as you're going around the flag. So what I want you to do is strictly body shots for an entire minute. So guys, let's go. Drill number two, head, body, head. So you can throw it at any time you want. So what's gonna look like this? Head, body, head. It can go head, body, head, head, body, head. But I want you to just strictly focus on head, body, head. Drill number three, hooks. You can throw body shots, head shots, anything you want, anytime you want, but it strictly has to be hooks. It will look like this. So it's gonna be in all ranges. Far hooks. Close hooks. Drill number four, in and out. So as you're fighting, remember, you're throwing punches and you're trying to get out. So you don't want to just stay in, just throwing, because the person's going to count in. So when you're throwing, you want to jump out and then jump back in. So that's what we're going to focus on. Drill number five, focusing on the jab with one, two, three, four. So what I mean when I'm saying one, two, three, four, you're gonna hit the jab only. Any shot you want from head to body, but it's gonna start off with one, move around, go here, one, two, move around again, one, two, three, move around again, one, two, three, four.
six, punching outbursts. So what I mean when I'm talking about punch outbursts, you're gonna have outbursts of just random shots, bah, 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 and then you're gonna be out. That helps you, let's just say if you're in the corner and you're here, and the opponent's on you, hitting you, hitting you, hitting you, hitting you, you have to give them something to be afraid of while they're punching. So if you're blocking and they're hitting you, sometimes you just need to boom, 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 and then circle them out, or roll this way, or turn them. So we're gonna focus on strictly outbursts and then roll out, which looks like this. Drill number seven, using your cross as one, two. So if you're a southpaw, you're gonna be using your left hand for the cross. For the fact that I'm orthodox, I'm gonna be using my right hand as my cross. So I want you to get used to throwing that cross. So you're not gonna throw any other punch but that. But I want you to do one, two. One. We're gonna turn into punches. One. Now it comes straight back. One, two. Drill number eight, rolling out after your punch. So as some people may think, in and out and rolling out is the same thing. No, in and out is when I'm punching, and you see how I'm rolling out. Rolling out is if I'm here, here, I'm rolling. So I'm rolling a punch. Um, circling you. You're not in and out, backing away from you. So that's what we're going to focus on. Drill number nine, blocking and then hitting. So when you're boxing, it's very important to use your footwork to dodge an opponent. But if you can't do that all the time, it's important to block. So when you're blocking, we're gonna use here, here, down, any way you want to, but just make sure you block and then you throw right after, which looks like this. Block. Block. I'm gonna use the other side. Drill number 10, in fighting. So it's important to know how to fight in the inside. You see a lot of guys, they're good fighting on the outside by keeping you away. But if the guy jumps on you and smothers you, this is a great way of feeling comfortable if the person's as close and still be able to get your combos, your angles, and be able to feel comfortable as you're moving around. Because it is an uncomfortable situation by having someone so close to you because it does sometimes with certain shots cut and smother those shots. If I'm trying to do a cross, if I'm too close, I can't do that. So for me to be far away, I'm here. So we're only gonna focus on being on the inside, throwing hooks, moving around, circling, blocking, which is gonna look like this.
you see as I'm doing here, I'm moving. Some people may think, oh, you're elbowing the person. No, I'm checking them, which means I'm moving them away for a second so I can get my shot. I'm not hitting them with the elbow. So I'm moving and I'm here for a quick second. Bam! You see how I moved you so I can get an opening. So you want to use those shots, especially when you're inside of turning, check, push. Always keep those hands up. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed my video. Those are my 10 drills that I use when I go into the gym. That's how you're gonna get comfortable by throwing your punches, moving, being able to block, fight an opponent as time goes on, but you're never gonna feel comfortable fighting an opponent if you don't know the fundamentals of how to move and throw punches. These drills I do a lot, which has definitely got me a lot better from when I first started. And then as time goes on, you start going into the ring. You start using what I show you on actual people because again, heavy bags don't hit back. So you have to get used to someone hitting back. So you wanna use these drills, get used to the drills, be able to move, throw your hands. When you fight an opponent, it's a different ball game. But still, you have the fundamentals on how to move and feel comfortable and fluent when doing those combos and actually blocking and circling and in and out on your opponent. So guys, stay consistent with all these drills. And I can guarantee you as time goes on, you're gonna be a lot better than what you first started. Also guys, don't forget, hit that notification button so you know when my next video comes out. It's your boy Reggie B. Like my video, subscribe to my video so you boy can do that. And if you do that, I'll be real proud of you.